Scorpio Singles Welcome. That's your singles reading for February 2022. I call it Meet Your Soul Me because all I'm asking here is for Spirit to help me identify the one that's right for you. So that's why it's always a positive reading. That's all we're asking. Uh, help me describe this one that's coming in for you. I see this being a predictive read for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Scorpio Venus here. Um, so not necessarily someone at, uh, in your life already, but someone becoming in your life in this February time frame here. Um, here I look at their emotional nature with two cards, two cards for the intellectual nature, two for the love and sexual nature, and two for lifestyle and core values. I call this the four pillars of a relationship, I feel. And what we're looking at here is a Gemini moon person, and this three of cups is interesting. Um, I want to think they're Gemini moons in the third house, and I associate the three of cups with Gemini energy. I, mean, I don't know if I'm the only one. Um, but the moon is what we need to feel secure. It's, it's just such a, it's the I see, it's our core. It's, it's kind of what we are when we're unconscious. Uh, it's, uh, and so when you have a Gemini moon, you know, it, it wants to always be uh, thinking, always kind of moving. Uh, it doesn't like to sit still. Uh, it, this very much can translate physically with Gemini moons. Um, so you know they, you know it's let's they can pay attention. Gemini was extremely intelligent. It was Mercury dominated, but it's you know not something that wants to just sit in a stagnate. It doesn't really do emotions very well. It's uh, almost as it's as if you're asking your emotions to express themselves through thoughts, which is Mercury. So that part can be tricky. Uh, but being in the you know, this third house for them, it's very active. They're really uh, going to be like friends are very important to them, you know. Now, also, they have an Aquarius sun, uh, so doubly so. So and this is not going to be a person uh, who's going to be clingy. Uh, they also have a Sagittarius <laughs> Venus, so uh, they're perfectly set up to be uh, self-contained in an airway, you know. And what does that mean? Like an Earth sign could just sit by themselves and just like a lump, and they're perfectly happy. And nowadays, you know, you're going to see them on their uh, uh, phones or whatever, right? But, um, you know, with an air sign, you know, they they want to engage with people, communicate with someone else in the world. So, you know, they wouldn't be as comfortable. They'll be the ones sitting, uh, say, in an airport, and they'll be kind of looking around for somebody that, you know, holds their eye, and they just want to chat, you know, and, and that kind of they communicate. Um, so friends would be very important, activity be very important. Um, you see here they got the Eight of Cups uh, underneath this page of swords, Aquarius here. Um, so I kind of wonder if their Mercury's not in Pisces, where it's kind of debilitated or kind of underwater in Pisces. It's a um, sensitizing place for them. So, you know, I think that they might uh, come across um, as kind of sensitive. So if you're thinking like of an air sign, well, they're insensitive, you know, they don't have emotions. It's not like that, you know, they, they are sensitive. Also with the Eight of Cups, you know, they, they don't have any uh, uh, tolerance for victimhood. They don't uh, play the fool very easily, uh, you know. Um, very sharp-minded, you know, and probably sapiophile, especially with Sagittarius, uh, Venus, too, all that goes together. Um, they're definitely going to need somebody in their life, Scorpio, who that they feel uh, that they can relate to uh, on a, a purely intellectual level here. Now, in terms of their Mars, I think that we're looking at a Capricorn Mars, uh, you know, where it's exalted. So, and I think their Mars serves them very well. You see it here next to the Knight of Pentacles. That's in their core values, lifestyle. We might see what they do for a living. Um, 
So another thing with this person, even though they have, I believe, this Sagittarius feet is sometimes uh, associated with, uh, I don't know, philandering or, or uh, shallow commitments. I don't really think that's the case. Uh, it depends. Um, it does like freedom. Uh, it does like intelligence, you know. It does like... Uh, it, it is, where a Sagittarius... Um, Venus gets in trouble. It's like with Taurid energy. When you get uh, into mixed and sinistry with energy that really wants to be stagnant, that Earth energy, you know, wants to be stagnant. You know, and so um, to some degree, their Venus and Mars would be a little bit at odds. You know, could be city square or something here, but um, it's really helping them because I think with someone they're going to have a really good mind, really active. Uh, Aquarius is uh, Sun's going to help a lot to kind of focus the Gemini mind more on what it is that they want. You know, this little guy seems very focused here, right? I think that's what the Nine of uh, Cups is, uh, Eight of Cups is about underneath of him. They they are so focused on just living life, and they just have no desire to kind of uh, wallow in any kind of drama or emotions, you know. Um, what they like is like fun and lighthearted, this kind of thing. So to kind of feel like a balance too. I mean, they're not a party boy or a party girl, no. Uh, but they're definitely someone that's always kind of, you know, could be making jokes, uh, jovial, happy, sharp, a lot of puns. You know, they're, they're not going to miss much, you know. So we're really engaging in any kind of like social environment. So, <clears throat> but with this Capricorn and Mars, you know, I think they're, going with this Knight of Pentacles, I think that you'll find that in terms of work, though, or career, that they did pick something, and they followed a certain direction in their career, and with this page, very sincere about it, whatever they're doing, it's like, it's kind of like whatever they're doing, it's like they might do it even if they were won the lottery, you know, uh, because it's what they want to do, and they feel like it's important. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups here over the Knight of Pentacles, um, they're in some kind of position of authority. It kind of relates back to this Pisces, Mercury. Um, they, uh, I think it's management, some kind of management. They could have like their own company, something they built from the ground up. I mean, this is a little old-fashioned now, but it's it's that energy of you you go work in the mailroom and in the... 30 years later, you're the CEO, you know. Uh, but they they work their way up, you know, over time. A page of swords, too, can be very studious energy, too. Uh, so autodidactic, maybe, also, just naturally with Gemini mood. But they also may have uh, made a pointed use of their education. So, you know, it's like if they had gone to school, they would have already, you know, before when they started, they would have known where they're going with it. It would have been something practical. So I think uh, this person has a little age on them over their first Saturn return, at least. And um, they're somehow in charge, supervision, management. And I think that uh, the people, if you ask them, or maybe they'll tell you the story, um, they really care about their people. They care about what they do. They take really good care of them. Uh, and they may be the kind of, if they're a boss, I think they may be in some working in that capacity in some way of uh, being in charge of other people. Uh, they would be seen as being particularly uh, emotionally available, actually. Uh, particularly caring, you know, like their uh, people they work with would probably feel like uh, they are one of these people in management that actually cares about their employees, we put it that way. So let me know what you think of this, guys. Uh, do appreciate if you could hit a like. Um, it helps move things along with the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Feel free to uh, comment here. It, this could be, I get a lot of people telling me it's somewhat in their life already, but I see it as predictive. So if two weeks from now you run into this Gemini Sun, Aquarius uh, Moon, uh, Gemini Moon, Aquarius Sun person, and give me a yell back, leave me a comment, guys. Thank you.